guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a vlog sale of some louis vuitton items that have just been kind of sitting i haven't touched them in a while and i'm ready to recycle them and use that money to buy something else that i will be using so i'm just going to go through all of the items that i'm looking to sell i will leave um, in the description box what i'm going to price them at so i wanted to talk a little bit about why i'm selling i briefly touched on it that these items are kind of just sitting also, I've talked about it a little bit in a couple of my most recent videos that during the summer, I just don't care as much about luxury. And so I am holding on to some items that I know I would probably regret selling, such as my Petite Noe that will not be for sale. But these are items that I think I wouldn't necessarily miss. So the first one is more of a recent purchase. This is a Speedy 35 in monogram. It is from the 80s. It does not have any cracks in the canvas. I just wanted to start off by saying that. I would never purchase an item that has any cracks in the canvas. So you will never, ever, ever have to worry about that when it comes to me selling things. Uh, here it is. The condition of this canvas is incredible for it being from the 80s. Some things to note if you haven't seen my video on this. Um, it did have a rivet repair, as you can see. So this rivet is significantly shinier than the other ones. If you took some Brasso to the other ones, it would, you know, shine them right up. Zipper works incredible. And the leather tab on here is in great condition as well. So it's not ripped. A lot of times with older Speedies, um, it's really common to see rips. I do currently have an organizer in here, so I'm just going to pull that out very quickly. And here's what the inside looks like. It's of course going to be really hard to show it on camera, so if you are interested in any of these pieces and you want additional videos or photos, just shoot me a message on Instagram or send me an email to the email down below and I would be happy to answer any of your questions. As you can see, when you pull that organizer out, you get more of like the traditional speedy side. And again, so this is from the 80s. It does have a date code, but it has the old style of date code. As you can see here, I'm also going to leave below a date code authenticator that I use where you just type in whatever the date code is for the item and it tells you, um, you know, like the year, the month, the location that it was made, all of those things. Also with this, I really wanted to point out that this pocket does not have any peeling or stickiness, which is pretty rare again for the older style of speedies. It's pretty much like the pocket was never used and I personally haven't used it either. So that is item number one. Okay, next up, this one might surprise you guys a little bit because I was so in love with this. But the truth is when I go for a bag the size, I've just been going for my long chomps. And that is the Totally MM again in monogram. Just want to reiterate, there are no cracks in this canvas. This one was purchased from Fashion File. Currently have a stuffed up bubble picker. And again, the interior is extremely clean. You have the one large pocket on this side and the two pockets on this side. Also, there is a little D-ring so you can um, attach your keys. The thing that I want to point out with this bag specifically is it does still kind of have a bit of a storage smell. I've tried my best with charcoal packets um, to get it out and I have gotten it out a lot, but in comparison to the other items I have, I can still like smell that scent. So I just want to make that very, very clear if this is one you're interested in. Um, also, you have these side pockets. Again, they're like in great condition. Um, yeah, the zipper does have a little bit of tarnishing. It's just a little silver. Might be kind of hard to see. Nothing too crazy. Of course, you have the dark patina specifically on the top of the handles because of course that is where you grab the bag by so the oils on your fingers naturally um, patina that part more i do have a friend here on youtube um believe the na her name is carbs and cabernet if i remember correctly i will leave a link to her channel down below i talk to her a lot on instagram she's another mom and she has a totally and she had warned me that with this one hers actually i believe ripped and she had to um get it repaired and be really careful with it. So I've been like super hypersensitive to that happening with this bag and I have not had any issues. Like I'm just looking over it again as I say this because I want to make sure that I'm being very clear of the condition of the items and I'm not seeing any issues with that at all. So you can really tell that the person I purchased this from through Fashion File really took good care of it. 
that's in great condition. Also the zipper on this one great as well so that is it bag wise now we're going to run into slgs the first one is going to be my trouse 23 this is one of those items that like i'm not necessarily in a hurry to get rid of because i do still use it here and there but i know it's not a long-term item for me at this point it is like a travel case so you do have that wipeable interior it is in great condition there's no peeling it's not sticky anywhere um it's honestly it's great I do use this a lot of times like as a catch-all in some of my larger bags, especially my long chomps because they don't have any structure to them unless you put something in it with structure. The zipper on this one, I'm gonna be honest, is not the best. It works, but it's a little bit tough and it's very, very tarnished. I did try to clean this one up with Brasso and was pretty unsuccessful. As you can see, the zipper is like almost black. So I think that that's pretty much at the best condition it could be. Wear on the corners, non-existent. Again, no cracked canvas. Um, the thing with this piece, I think to note, is just that it does have a little bit of weight to it because it's the old style of canvas. It's like a lot thicker. And then you have this like leather lining. I think this is leather on the interior. And so you get like just a little bit of weight with it. That's like my main complaint about it, honestly. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't even really be considering selling this. This one's either gonna shock you or you're totally not gonna be surprised at all. It's the mini pochette. This thing literally retails right now for like over $700. It was um, made in France. Of course, the chain here. This does have like a little bit of tarnish um, on the like zipper pull itself, but otherwise it's in really great condition. I'm actually very impressed with how well this is held up because of all of the things I'm selling, I've probably used this the most. Mm, yeah, probably the most. The interior again is like very clean. There's not any pen marks or anything like that. Doesn't have a smell. Completely normal. This one I also purchased off of Fashion File. I do believe it was made in 2015 or 2016. I can tell you. I have the date code here. It was made in 2016. So this is like one of those things I have raved about and also said that I go back and forth on quite often. And I think I finally decided that this is a piece that I'm willing to part with. I've recently, oh my goodness, I've recently picked up some items from Longchamp that I feel like kind of do the same purpose as this. So I'm ready to part ways. To me, the mini pochette is either something that really works for you or really doesn't. I feel like I'm a little bit of the exception where I've used it a lot and also not used it a lot. But at the end of the day, it's ready to go. Two more items in this sale. I have a six ring key holder. These are really difficult to get your hands on right now. This was the first one I ever bought. It was from Fashion File, obviously in the DE print. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but this one definitely has silver tarnishing on the button, so it's not too gold anymore. The interior does have some wear, as you can see the button impression on this side. And I believe this does, yeah, this actually has the original like textile card and little barcode in the back of it. And then again, the tips of these ring holders are tarnished, so they're silver. When it comes to the edges, there are some glazing, not peeling necessarily, but you can just tell that the glazing could potentially be redone in the future. I think overall out of everything I'm selling, this is probably the worst condition uh, we'll call it just because it had a lot of wear and it was very beat up before I even got my hands on it I just ended up buying one brand new in monogram and that's the one I reach for over this So in the viewfinder looking at this Gosh, I love this print even though almost everything I have is monogram This is the print that has my heart For sure and then lastly is actually a monogram card holder. I did use it religiously However, I never put more than three cards in here and so it has absolutely no stretching. I put one card on this side, one card on this side, my ID went in the center, and that was it. Um, the glazing, impeccable condition. Like, absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. This is brand new, and if you're interested in this one, you will absolutely be getting a deal because it is like buying it brand new from the boutique. So that is everything in my vlog sale for specifically Louis Vuitton. I'm thinking about selling some other things via vlog sale, maybe like some Longchamp, some old Michael Kors. If you're interested in that, 
let me know if you want any of these pieces if you'd like additional photos additional videos if you want to see the fashion file listing that i purchased it from let me know i will send you the links pretty much all of this stuff was from fashion file with the exception of this being brand new from the boutique and the speedy being from ebay thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one and send me a message on instagram if you're interested thanks bye